I would like to start this speech with, with a request. Could I ask you for, do you have a smartphone? No, do you have a smartphone? Could I borrow that one maybe? Just, just for a short while. Isn't that lovely? Thank you very much. Now, I just have this smartphone here and this exemplifies what trust is. She trusted me to give me the smartphone and that I will return it afterwards. Isn't that wonderful? But, but now I, I have a, a, the idea that many of you in the audience will think this is a scam, that we had talked about it before. She is already saying no, and it's true, it's, it's not. But it's an important thing, there is a difference what you in the audience feel to be what is trust and what she thinks what is trust. Because she thinks, will he give it back? Is he honest enough? Probably yes. But won't he forget? No, I have it in my hand. Now, I'm here to discuss trust in the judiciary, and I will come back to this example in a, in a few moments. In the Netherlands, we are fortunate to have a, a, a population that is trusting the judiciary. Um, of course, there are differences within the population. Of course, there are differences over time. But in general, one could say that Trust in the judiciary is better than trust in politicians and trust in government, and et cetera, et cetera. Nevertheless, there is at this moment a tendency that politicians and opinion leaders and other people, and even the judiciary themselves, have the idea to think trust is declining in the judiciary. How is that? How, how can that be? Um, it cannot be that these judges are supposed to be dishonest. Because, again, fortunately, in the Netherlands, we don't have corrupt judges. We don't have fraudulent judges or judges who are really politically biased. So it must have to do with something else. With what? Some people say that judges are sometimes out of touch. But I never understand what that means because judges have direct acquaintance with people who suffer from insolvency, from debts, from crime, from broken families. That is the world of judges. So they really know what they're talking about if it's about the horrors in a peacetime community. It can't be that. Might it then be that they don't know exactly how it is with certain specific issues, well, then they can ask for experts. Um, now, it's something else. Judges at this moment are fearing that they have too little time to do their work good. Um, you have to realize that in the last 10 years, the workload of judges has almost doubled, a, an, an increase of 80%. And if you don't have time enough to look into a matter, you, you don't do your work as well as you did before. I myself am also a little bit scared about that. Uh, for instance, I just have one example. For instance, the fact that in last year, 5,000 people, 5,000 people had to be paid because of unjust detention in the Netherlands. One year, 5,000. Twice as much as in 2006. So yes, there is something to worry about, not because they're dishonest, but maybe they don't have time enough. Judges are not sentencing machines. And that is important to realize, and that's why I'll give you an example how that works. A, a couple of years ago, I was sitting in court and the defense had asked an, a, a witness. It was a lady. She ha would have been beaten up by the suspect. It was her husband. And this lady said, um, started telling how much she had been roughed up. She had been in hospital, broken her nose and whatever. And at a certain moment, the chairman asked the defense attorney, Mr. Attorney, is she really an, a, a witness for the defense? And he said, yes, your honor. And she says, oh, yes, I'm sorry. I have to explain, but I wanted you to know how horrible it was. But there is one small other thing. He is a tremendous father. He had beaten me, but he was also always so considerate for my daughter. And I don't want my daughter to have to visit 
my husband in jail. Now that was a problem, because we thought we'll give him nine months imprisonment. What should we do? She said, couldn't you give him a community service as punishment? If we would have been sentencing machines, we would never have done that, because then you always do the same thing as you always do. But there was this extraordinary fact. The victim herself didn't want that punishment. Well, in the end, we gave the community service as well as nine months, but then completely on probation. So, um, but the, the real reason I wanted to tell you this was this, this, differences, this difference. Judges are not sentencing machines. They are looking into particular cases. Now, now we come back to this question. What has changed? What, what, what is the reason that the population in general thinks judges are to be trusted? Well, there are people who say they are not. There are two reasons. The first reason has to do with this. It has to do with you as an audience and she as a participant. It is a long-term effect that since the 1970s, government and politicians are themselves in court. They no longer are a kind of an audience what the judges are doing. No, there are cases in which people sue government, where they go to, uh, to court to ask for another uh, uh, authority to, to explain a certain situation or to decide on a certain situation. The police is being scrutinized whether they have uh, entered the house correctly or not. Government is no longer an audience. They are participants themselves. They have stake. Uh, something at stake. There is a second reason, and the second reason is, has to do with the example of the lady who had been beaten up. Opinion leaders and politicians see one example always as an example of a big trend. They think in terms of trends of policies. But judges never do so. They think in terms of what is specific for this specific situation. What did actually happen? What was the law at that particular moment? Not what is the good intention or whatever. And then that is why for the judge, it is, it's not interesting to see the big picture. And politicians don't trust people who don't speak in terms of big picture. That is what I wanted to tell you. Judges are honest and are to be trusted in the Netherlands, fortunately, although they have this increasing workload. But there are these changes. They are, have something at stake themselves and they talk a different language. That, no, that was not all I had to say, because I had this. She was not only an example from a big picture. She is a real person. She wants what comes to her. She wants her stuff back. Thank you very much. Thank you.